Hey, dude. Hey, man. Happy Friday. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm ready to crush this tip of the week. We have a really good one, so I'm excited about yeah. it. Yeah. You want me to jump in? Yeah, I want you to jump in. I mean, I think this is this is a tool that we've come to use a lot more in our businesses across the board. And uh, today we're talking about Canva. So take it away. Let's talk a little more about it. Yeah, Canva. I love Canva. I'm totally addicted to Canva. We used it casually at first and now we have a business plan and use it with our whole team. So if you're not familiar, Canva.com is a graphic art tool that really replaces Photoshop, Photoshop elements, that kind of thing. Um, if you're, you know, if you do a lot of that kind of work, you'll probably still use Photoshop and, and, uh, but you'll, but Canva has a good solid use case for e-commerce sellers. And, um, so, uh, I really like Canva for a couple of reasons. First of all, I just, I heard Melanie Perkins story. She was interviewed on a podcast not long ago that I listened to fantastic story of, uh, you know, an, uh, young entrepreneur. She was basically in high school. She was trying to make a yearbook. The software sucked and she thought there has to be a better way. And you know, she's some girl from Australia, right? So she just starts on this idea. She hires a local coder and she flies to Silicon Valley. She ends up knowing some people and, that she could, you know, you know meet and one, she just grinded it out for several summers in a row, going to Silicon Valley, pitching her idea, continuously working on the concept and turned it into this fantastic business. It is really reshaped, uh, you know, kind of the graphic art scene online and um, it just performs so well. And uh, it's valued at over a billion dollars and uh, she, she's just an inspirational story. Um, let me just mention a few use cases for Canva that I think could be helpful for um, e-commerce sellers. First of all, on the aspects related to social media, doing things like Facebook uh, graphics, Instagram graphics, anything related to quotes, uh, you know, text over image, Canva makes that stuff so easy. They even have tons and tons and tons of templates that you can immediately just tweak, change, and you're done. Um, and so social media use case is just outstanding. Um, it's the best tool for that kind of thing. Um, you also have the opportunity to do tons and tons of website um, graphics, things like the slider on your website, things like collection pages, badges, that kind of thing. If you run on Shopify, you know, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for graphic art for things like your collections, that kind of thing. We built most of our graphic art that way nowadays uh, for Pixie Fair. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a simple tool to use for that kind of thing. And um, we use it now at the industrial level where we have, we literally collaborate in Canva with shared resources where like literally yesterday I was making a topper, like a little uh, fold over cardboard item for, uh, for our charity, for something that we're gonna have as a little donation product. Mm -hmm. uh, threw it in the Canva, my daughter edited some stuff, made some changes, then I finished it. And then, you know, we had it printed out and go from there. So using, using it for collaboration is fantastic. Um, so that's why I love Canva. Um, I'm sure there's a million other use cases. Um, what's your thought on it? Where are you at with Canva? Yeah, it's fantastic to be able to use it for your Shopify stuff quick graphic work. I mean, if you think about the alternative to that before was you had to know Photoshop or yeah. InDesign or something, one of those Adobe products, which the learning yeah. curve on is steep. Like you didn't give a professional and spend a lot of time yeah. figuring all that stuff. So Canva just makes it easy to drag and drop and do what you need to do with it. So I, from that standpoint, it just speeds up everything uh, yeah. for it. So for Amazon seller, in my context, one of the things that you could easily use Canva for is to create the infographics for your, your photo stack. So oh. you have your main image, which is your white background image that every product needs on Amazon. Yeah. And then you need to be able to add other pieces of it to that as well. Uh, and one of those is an infographic. It works really, really good. You can kind of tease out the benefits of your uh, products in an image format because sometimes, believe it or not, 
sometimes consumers don't tell them are a little bit lazy and they don't want to read the actual bullet points. <laughs> they yeah. just want to look at a picture and get everything they need to know to make a decision. So you can yeah. use camera for that for sure. So you're on your Amazon listing, your first image has to be uh, the product on white background, but then your alternate images can be lifestyle that could have text over them or yeah. like you mentioned the infographic. So, so for both of those lifestyle type photos that have graphics over the image and for infographic graphic, fantastic use of Canva. Yeah. Uh, it's a great tool. So, and you know, the thing about it is it's free. So it's like, I mean, for goodness sakes, it's just amazing. I it's just, I couldn't go, I couldn't, I could go on and on about it. I like it a lot. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, highly, highly, highly endorse and, and recommend it. I'm not affiliate man, but maybe I'll get an affiliate link and put it underneath this video. So uh, use my affiliate link. Uh, if they have an affiliate program, I don't even know. They might. Uh, um, we, should yeah, probably look, we should probably figure that out. <laughs> I guess I could. But regardless of whether you use an affiliate link or not to get there, check out Canva. It is highly valuable. It's changed really the graphic art space uh, on the internet. And um, I think you'll really find huge value in it. It's so easy to use as well. So the, the other yeah. use Chris, social media stuff, like using posts for, sure. for social media, yeah. it has it all. I mean, it's quick. So yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Love it. All right, my man. Well, um, if you like that tip, cool, go check it out. We've got tons of other tips in our mastermind group as well. And so feel free to jump into our mastermind program. The info about mastermind is, uh, on this website. So feel free to look in the menu structure and also our coaching program. Kyle and I work with coaching clients one-on-one. -on -one. We have a weekly meeting, Zoom meeting with our clients just like this. And we work with them on accelerating their business uh, revenues, uh, traffic strategies, conversion optimization, Shopify site, uh, but not just Shopify, beyond that, eBay, Amazon, uh, Walmart. And uh, so we're uh, super fans of a growing group of awesome uh, coaching clients. So I, I like to say that we're cheerleaders accountability partners, and sometimes teachers. But to be honest, a lot of times it's uh, accountability and cheerleading and just listening to people and yeah. thinking through things together. So. Yeah, I mean, I feel like m most of the time our coaching clients already know the answers mm -hmm. uh, to the questions that they're asking. We just have to help them sort of get across the finish line of execution and yeah. letting them get it implemented. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So um, if that's of interest to you, uh, feel free to jump into the application process for coaching. It's by application only. And if it's not a good fit on our side, we'll let you know and, and we'll make sure it's a good fit. Uh, we're a good fit for you before we proceed. And uh, yeah. All right, my man, we'll help you have a fantastic weekend. Yeah. Try not to spend too much time playing in Canva over the weekend. <laughs> All right. See you, buddy. Bye.